Hello everybody, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel Mike the Tech Savvy. Today I'll show you the latest optimized Lineage OS ROM for the international Samsung Galaxy S4. So the ROM I'll be showing you today is the fourth stable version. It has a number of improvements compared to the previous third stable build, which already was a very suitable daily driver. There are no major aesthetic differences, it still has the Trebuchet launcher which I'm currently using because I haven't installed the Pixel launcher anymore. I prefer this one more I guess. However you can choose to install it from the Aroma installer if you want. I'll show you right away how to do that. There are a number of changes. I'll show them to you directly in the Aroma installer when we will simulate the installation process. So let's begin. First reboot into recovery. I've rebooted into recovery. As always the team in recovery project recovery. I'll go forward and install the optimized Lineage OS stable 4 you have to copy the zip file into a folder I copied it into the download folder also make sure you have the latest OpenG apps zip package as well that is if you'd like to have some Google apps or at least the Google Play Store installed all the download links are in the description below so it's really simple to get started before installing always do a factory reset by swiping here afterwards select the zip file I've chosen the Aroma version because you can customize the device exactly the way you want to it will start right away the process is really fast here you have it So here is the changelog since the third stable version. You have the June security patch. Some other updates here. The S8 wallpapers and sounds. And some more optimizations that you can see through right here so now click on install the ROM if you choose the Alucard kernel you'll have some additional features and options afterwards or you can choose to use the stock kernel usually you should clear your Alucard profile edit as well here you can choose to install root via SuperSU Magisk or not install root at all. Some audio mods and what I have said earlier you can choose to install the pixel launcher and wallpaper. I've installed both camera apps but you can only install one of them because they both work great. Also Mi Explorer, really good file explorer and you can choose to use the setup wizard or not. After installation you will get to this part. At this point you should wipe cache and Delvic by swiping here and only afterwards you should reboot the system. Of course if you have an OpenGFs package you should install it right after the ROM installation. Afterwards, go through with the Dalvik and the cache wipe, then reboot and you're good to go. The interface is familiar, all the functions are working as they should. In settings here, you have the June security patch right here. I've installed on Tsuru. It's not really that important in real life. But for the sake of this review, I've installed it. 
and the result is right here 36,600 this is a bit above the previous stable version which was at 36,500 so it's a minor improvement and in Geekbench we have a single core score of 700 respectively 1500 for the multi-core benchmark while in the previous stable version we had 747 here and 1800 here in compute we have 1366 points while in the previous version I obtained almost 1700 so the performance is a bit under the previous version but this brings an increase in battery life and also lowers the temperature of the device the previous version had some issues with that but with this new stable 4 version the device should heat up a bit less S tweaks is also installed by default and if you choose to have root access in Aroma you will get all the customizations you want here overclocking, underclocking changing the charging current and so much more overall the ROM is very smooth all apps open very quickly the multitasking performance is acceptable if you still use an S4 as your main phone you should definitely go for this new stable 4 version of the optimized Lineage OS custom ROM. Last but not least, I'd like to send my thanks to the developers who made this possible. I still can't believe that such an old but loved device gets regular updates which make it better and better with each iteration. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you liked it do press the like button and if you'd like to stay tuned to my content also press the subscribe button if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave them in the comment box below i wish you a great day this was mike the tech savvy until next time bye